<laughs> Let's take this thing apart. I've always had a fascination with just um, tinkering and, and, and playing with things. Toys, electronics, you know, anything I can get my hands on. You wanna dig out of that one? It's a puzzle. Growing up, my parents always expected that we, we were expected to serve and to help other people. And that's something that has been ingrained in me. I love Kyle. I mean, I, we've, been, we've worked together for some time. I can tell him my vision, and he's sort of my reality check. I think that every CIO needs the person who they can trust, who's fearless, who will go out and, and do radical things sometimes. I wanted to come to the government to help bring a change to something that I saw as broken. Where I like to be is on the bleeding edge. I like to be right up and, to be honest, the tip of the spear. We want to do something innovative. In the private sector, we were doing things only for the good of the company and not for what was best for the customer or best for the employees. They were restricting my creativity to the point where I needed a change. In the government, we're able to do things that actually matter to people and make an impact on their lives. This is our main data center for the city. The racks actually used to go all the way to the wall back there. They no longer need them because we moved to the cloud and to Azure. Architect will be very sad that you saw all this in the current state. We're here to serve those who serve. We're not on patrol with the police officers. We're not putting out fires every day. But what I do is I keep those operations running to their most efficient state. We call ourselves yin and yang. He helps push the initiatives from the management side, and I'm able to implement them. Every department that the city has, we have ownership over the IT operations. We are a 40 square mile city, and so we have a lot of assets that we have to manage. I want to say we have about 1,000 devices. It can be very challenging. Testing one, two, three. A lot of the software throughout the city, they didn't talk to each other. They were completely isolated. How do we take all these disparate systems and move them into one? In this view, I'm able to see all of our security updates and then which ones actually need attention. So these are devices that still haven't been upgraded. With Windows 10 and Office 365, we're able to better collaborate and become more efficient, or it'll be safe and secure. Windows 10 and Office 365 has allowed us to be creative. This one already has a Windows 10 on it. With my team, they're no longer just racking and stacking servers. They're required to think outside the box. Hey, Cynthia, how's it going? Good. Cynthia's been working on integration with Waze and our GIS information, so we can actually see traffic information in real time. Not having to worry about the day-to-day -day operations, it allows me to be creative. With a traffic management system like this, we generate tons of data. Now with the use of the cloud, we can actually grab that data, store these documents within Teams, and edit them live. That'll be taking us to the next level, moving us from just reacting to understanding. I really want to get all these looking like that guy there. This is a BI dashboard that in real time our fire chief can go in and see. And these are insights that we didn't have before. It's analytics that provide us the ability to make better decisions. It's going to improve our ability to fight fire. With the modern desktop, they can stay out in the field and we can push feature updates. The ability to access that from a mobile platform is incredibly exciting. Rather than being hardware people, they can talk to us about what our needs are and say, what do you want to do with the data? How do you want to visually see the data? That's the most exciting thing for me. This is all real data that's being pulled into Azure. In real time, our citizens are able to go in and see information about how we're actually doing. We are no longer the IT department of no. We are the IT department of yes and can do and change. There's all of this locked up potential in your employees. The minute that you tap into that and you empower them and you allow them to be creative, it's the most amazing thing. We want to see this be the best community possible. That's the thing that drives it for everybody. What we want to do is to leverage technology in a way that touches our citizens. They wanted to be able to engage with us, but on their own terms and through social media. The response has been overwhelming from our citizens. That satisfaction that there was a problem that existed, and because of what you did and what your team did, it made a difference. There's self-fulfillment in that. Government is ripe for change. It's just no one's had the guts to come and fix it. The things that I'm doing, they're actually going to impact me and my family. We want to start a dialogue and a relationship with the citizens in this community. We can actually do something that maybe no one else has ever done before. Retrospectively, it will help my kids in the future as well. And with that, when I'm given the freedom to do that, 
is what I'm most excited about.